Good evening guys and welcome to the channel. Got some Assetto Corsa Competizione first impressions tonight. To go along with some nice cold beer. I do have a bit of a sore throat tonight so if I sound worse than normal then that's why. <clears throat> so um sorry we're just posting some some links on Facebook to the live stream. So I can get some more of the Simsport racing guys in here to join us. I'm also uh in TeamSpeak with Mr. Andrew Leach, who I'm gonna unmute in a second so you'll hear us talking to each other. He's also playing uh Settle Corsa. Uh I don't keep what I say in competizione because it's like I'm not Italian and it just takes too long, so he's also playing ACC and of course there's no multiplayer yet, so we are both just playing it singularly, but you'll be able to hopefully hear some of his impressions as well. So I'm gonna get un unmuted just now. So um so yeah, this is like first proper sit down at it. I did install the game earlier, set it up, did the control configuration, the usual bollocks, um, because there's no point in boring anyone with that. Um but I haven't actually done any kind of proper driving other than just like a couple of laps so we're going to get through it and uh, yeah so we'll get Andrew in, in a sec Sound hey Andrew hello I've just set up the live stream so you can say hello if you want hello live stream hello live stream yeah it's just a shame that you know there's no multiplayer so we can't race together although we kind of are racing together just not actually together yeah, yeah, uh, I think maybe that's a blessing in disguise at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So I would just said I would like, I'd been in it earlier, but just actually just doing the setup stuff because I thought, well, I think everyone, everyone's pretty capable of probably getting that far. Although there is a little few quirks. I think we've all, I think, the thing is, you know, between you, me, and Michael, we've actually all had a different kind of little kind of bug quirk. If you notice, like he had, like Mike had an issue with the view, like he just could not, even though when he changed it, the view just wasn't changing for him, that was the problem he had, and I was like, it will change, it's like, change your FOV, you know, go in, it's hit escape, FOV settings, change the FOV, and then position the camera, he's like, I'm trying, it's not doing it, and he's like, sending me pictures and stuff, I'm like, you don't need to send me pictures, like, I've done it, you just need to do what you need to do. Um, so yeah, of course, he was can try to convince me that that wasn't the case, so... <laughs> he listened eventually, though, I guess. Yeah. Well, I think actually what he did was he did what I've had to do in a few times, to just like restart the game. It seems like some things like, don't take effect until like after you restart it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I had that issue. The, the gear thing was weird, you know. Um, I don't know why I just couldn't get it to go into. Uh, but the thing is, into manual gears. But the minute I changed it back to automatic and drove, it was fine. That's really what you want from a simulation, isn't it? Automatic gears. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I think the whole idea of me buying it at the moment is just to get it up and reduce price rather than. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I can't. Am I going to drive it all that much? Until well, I mean, not until there's more tracks, I guess, and cars. But there's Michael trying to convince us that we're he's the fastest one again. He's adamant. Anyway, Storm, Midnight. This is the one I said I was going to do when I first got it. <laughs> Storm at Midnight. Um, right. Um, well, yeah, I'm just going to try it. I think, what did I do with the graphics settings? The player this, um, this scaling thing's interesting. 
Mm. I mean, maybe we should just leave it at 100. View distance, high, high, high. I'm just going to set everything foliage is low. Uh, effects, epic, post processing, mid. I'm not quite sure. I've, I've switched between the two anti aliasing types as well. I don't really. I don't know what temporal is. I know what FX AA is, but I don't know what temporal is. But that's what it was set to default at. I wish when you clicked on the apply button, like it just said, right, that's it applied. <laughs> I don't like how it just clicks and doesn't actually tell you anything. But okay, right. Um, midnight, ten minutes. Starting tenth out of sixteenth. Put the AI up to ninety percent because, like Andrew was saying to you. 80% default in rain and the AI just like can't drive like I was literally lapping them in fact I think I actually well yeah but after 10 minutes I was starting to lap them <laughs> oh god it's dark like really dark don't think that helped me very much you know the next thing so now we've always been plugged in for so long. It's my first feedback working. Oh god, you cannot see a f Oh my right, god. You can't see anything. Oh right, and it's raining. It's just oh. This is undrivable. Andrew. Like I can literally see just white. It looks like you know when you're driving up oh, and someone just turned me around at the rolling start. Oh you know when you're driving in the snow with your headlights on? Green light, give it all you can. That's what it's like. Shit. It's just spray everywhere. Whoa! Oh! Yeah, you can't put your foot down in a straight line. <laughs> oh, the spins are impressive though. I don't think it is the but five 360s. I went, I went off at the top, the top of the hill coming down towards the call it Dunlop. Just, I hit the right. and I started spinning. Hang on a second. That's going to be ridiculous. We're not going to be able to... You, you literally cannot see anything. I'm also going to change this because I can't see the... Uh, I think I'm going to take this out of full screen because my chat thing won't overlay on the top of it. That's better. No, it doesn't really matter if it's full screen anyway, to be honest, does it? Um, yeah, well, that's that's bad. That's bad, like, that dark. I mean, you'd never have a race like that anyway, would you? Come on. Well, uh, let's no. go. 10 o'clock. 10 a.m. in a storm. That sounds more doable, doesn't it? More civilized, anyway. See, it comes up online lap record and it's blank. There's nothing in it. Like, it's just a placeholder. I don't know where Michael's getting this I'm the fastest in the world nonsense from. Okay, so it's still quite dull actually. 10 a.m. in the rain. Okay, the race is about to start. Hold your position until the green flag. Watch out in the first corner. Well, let's go. All right, there is some rain in this session, so watch out for slippery oh, cars. Oh, oh. To break early. It's the the rain effects are so good. Do all the um, races have a rolling start? Uh, in real life. Green light, green light, go, go, go. Whoa. I uh, literally cannot put my foot down. Oh, oh. I can't even put my foot down on this straight. <laughs> you got really got a. I 
I kind of feel bad for criticising um, the MotoGP guys for not going out in the rain at Silverstone. Because if it was like this and they were on two wheels, never mind four. <laughs> Whoa! What are these guys? Oh, thanks. Nice. It's got totally turned. And see when you go spinning in the grass, you're, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, it's getting warm, isn't it? You go a long way, but you just go until you hit something. You just keep spinning and spinning. You don't actually. You, you can't control it either. Seriously? <laughs> when you crash and you just go into like a spin, you just keep going and going and going. It's like absolutely ridiculous. I think you can go about 50%. Okay, I don't even know how I'm getting round a corner. Really, absolutely no grip. I just love the way it's that you go down the street. Yeah, that's the same here. Nice. Yeah, I actually, I take it back. They can drive in the way better than me. Well, the funny thing is, when I first drove against them in the wet, it was just light rain, and they were so slow. Whoa! Right. <laughs> Look at the spin, that's just insane. I want to see the replay of that. I'm going to turn you up a bit, because this game is quite loud. I'm struggling, I'm struggling to hear you. The sounds are such a massive improvement. Ready. You're always so quiet though, Andrew. Well, that's exciting. Right, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Whoa, that's not good frame rate. Map a button to close the little window. You know, the, the even in the piss and rain, the driver still got the the window flap wide open. <laughs> yeah, it's some this. I was when I was spun out of control. You just you literally just spin. And there's like no warning. Ah, it's like I racing. See here at the bottom of the hill where I. Oh. Yeah, like you say, you're accelerating and suddenly it just goes and you're like, whoa. Yeah. Bye bye. I can see it even there, like you just got the wheels are just locked and you're just spinning and spinning. I guess it's pretty realistic, I'm assuming. Driving a Huracan GT3 in the wet, isn't it? Oh, that's for sure. Until the next generation of games come out, and then it'll get closer still. Yeah, the storm, the storm is maybe a bit much. Let's actually try and do a race. Let's just do it sunny. Let's um, let's maybe change the time though to like six o'clock. Um, right, uh, AI. Put them at 100 percent I believe their skill went 90. I was racing them at 80 and they were okay. Mm 
Oh man, can't stop burping. <clears throat> Too much Cavonia then, a, a beer. Ah, throwing a couple of streps always just because, you know, I do what I want. Right. This is better, we can see. Right mate, race is about to start. Hold your position until the green flag. Take it easy in turn one. One Ferrari man, close up a bit. Green light, green light, go, go, go. Whoa, coming in hot. I did actually quite enjoy it when I was driving it earlier in the light rain. I was starting to get a real feel for it. It's nice. Yeah, I think it's a bit heavy for your little girly hands. Lighting effects in this are just superb though, when you, especially when like sunsets and stuff. Oh, I'm not really at sunset yet, I don't know what time the sun sets in the game. I noticed there's an option created out for dynamic weather, so I'm assuming we're going to have like project cars too where the it can start dry and rain, like the weather can change. That would be really cool. <clears throat> be really cool if they turned on, oh, slight. If they turned on what they have like in Flight Simulator, where it'll actually give you the real weather, what it's like right now, <coughs> at that track. I mean, Flight Simulator's had it for years. There's no, there's no reason why you can't do it here. And P3, where's one and two? They've checked out, checked out the building. Is that right? Surely they can't have gone that far. They'll be coming to that piece. Oh, I do see them. Coming up the other side of the hairpin already. Chase is on now. Take the, sh the Schumacher S's yellow flat flag, out in the dryer, it's just me. I really don't think you can. These guys are just dis disappearing. <laughs> it's annoying that all my. Uh, can you move the screen apps? Like, you know, this. 
timings and stuff on the screen because they're all away in the side monitors and I can't see them. I've got no way of knowing whether the guys in front of me are pulling away. I'm assuming they are. Yellow flag ahead, watch out in front. We are at the halfway mark, still a way to go. Yeah, they've definitely pulled away. idea. No idea how fast they're going now. That would not be hard right now. Sounds in this are good. It's almost race room like. Whoa. Especially when you like got gravel under your wheels and stuff coming off the curbs. And what this? How do you mean? 900? Try to see if I can see what times the guys in front of me are doing that. Just tell me anything. flag, you can see the wee manny waving it. Yeah, I think it's so cool. You see the like, steward hanging over the bar, uh, the barrier, waving the flags. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful. Oh, 
Yellow flag, oh, oh big pile up. What is going on here, boys? There's literally... <laughs> what is... Literally the whole field is sitting piled up on the back straight. Just not moving. God. Yeah. Hmm. Yellow flag is So I'm now in P1 because those were... Right, okay. That's a bit messed up. Yellow flag, yellow flag, be careful there. Like, they're just sitting like all parked behind each other. It's not like an accident or something. Right, you've just topped the last lap as leader. Stay focused. Oh, I really wish this would just turn onto the Nord Slife at the end of this lap. Oh well, win's a win. <laughs> like when you win, they set off like uh, smoke grenades in the stands. Track competence. Focus on learning the track. Find reference points. Okay, what is it? Your track medals. Zero of three. Drive. What? Find a comfortable place. Stay in control of your car. What is actual? <coughs> No one can see that in the stream because it's in the right-hand monitor. I don't think there's any way you can move it. Okay, so the race fastest lap was a 57 dead and my best was a 59.8. Right. Well, yeah, because the AI all, like, cocked up, you know? Look, I'm going to find it. It'll be here somewhere. What's wrong with it? Okay, there's another issue in the replay where the car's texture isn't like isn't loaded, so the car looks worry. Where are we? By this lamp. Here's, <laughs> we've got it in uh, slow, <coughs> slow motion here, the, the AI, just all, like, just all parked up, let's jump back, let's... Oh, hang on, uh, slow motion. It's like yellow flags waving, and the AI are literally just parked up behind each other. They're just they're just stopped. They're actually all stopped on the track. Like there's two sitting stopped, and there's a group of uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. Wee man, he's waving his 